Good afternoon, everybody. Todd Miller, local sports program here with you here in the High Sierra Lacrosse League as we're bringing you today's game, Bishop Minogue Miners and yeah. Truckee North Tahoe. Should be a good one. We're getting ready to start here in just a few minutes. Tight game. Minogue sitting at second. I don't know if they've updated it now because actually Spanish Springs is second now after. And Minogue is in third. TNT is in fourth. Minogue with a record of 4 and 1. TNT with a record of 4 and 2. So, like I said, this should be a good one. Beautiful spring day here which means at any time, like we know, it could go instant winner. That's what they're saying about this weekend. Should have replay today. I was setting up one system and we got a major part and luckily here at Minogue, they have a scaffolding, so I was able to quickly set up something else and get going. Hey, you want me to hold the ladder? Rory, what are you doing? You're going to take the ladder. Everybody have a mouth guard in. If you don't, you're not playing. Don't mind the shaking. My other commentator is coming up. Liddy's here. How you doing? I made it. Yeah. You know, I told Coach Warren before the game, if you can hold it like 10 minutes, that'd be great. Oh, we can Coming up with Carson. You never get that lucky. <laughs> but they have no problem starting them early before we get here yeah, sometimes. Right. <laughs> Either way, what a beautiful day, huh? Yeah, it is awesome. First major spring game we've had all year. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Face off one by Fishman Noak. Slip right there. Yep, Penfro will grab it up, but good defense by the TNT LSM. Causing a quick turnover. And a little scrum in the middle field to start the game. Is that a 
ref should blow the whistle here soon. Milk hasn't gotten in, but and we get a quick timeout. Yeah, yeah, that's there you go. Coach, Coach Peacock knew that uh, timer was coming pretty quick. So the first uh, first time out of the game for Minogue. Coach wants that first possession. Uh, good game here tonight. We have a, pretty much a battle between kind of right now shaping out to be the two seed with Bishop Minogue and the four seed with uh, TNT. And last night we saw an incredible game between the and Spanish Springs that ended in uh, 23 seconds left in the game. Lena put the go ahead uh, goal away and uh, what a game to watch. Yeah, I was checking in on that one off and on as I was doing the Damani Reno game. That one went into overtime. Did it? I didn't see it. Damani Reno was up 3 2. Damani scored a goal with about 10 seconds left to tie it up. Goes into overtime, and then Reno scored the winning goal with about 10 seconds left oh. in overtime. No, I have to check that one out. I didn't, I didn't realize it went to OT. That's great. Two great games on a Tuesday night. Come right back off of spring break. Getting all the players back together. Nope's going to kick it to X with Brody Buck, but he's going to lose it. And keeper CJ Smith is going to grab it and try to give TNT an offensive opportunity. Just to make sure you can hear me in your speaker, Joey. I can. Okay. Skies it. That ball's going to go right back to the middle. We were going to be on the ground level, but I forgot the part to that. And so luckily they have the scaffolding set. Oh, no good. <laughs> good. I had to scramble a bit. Much rather be down there on ground. <laughs> well, we don't have the wind uh, playing with us this game. No, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, last wind. time I was up here, it was freezing, yeah, windy, snowing. Charlie Crawford's going to touch it in for no, but he's getting pounded by King Hands. Steps up. Wow, great save by CJ Smith. One on one with the goalie. So Nolan Moore is going to set up for offense. He's going to go right sweep right to his right hand. Shot and rip it. Oh now, Truckee is coming off a game on Monday. They played, they played Demani up in North Hall, and I believe this is Minogue's first game back since I believe this since the June game, right? Yeah, so that was, and that was that was the first game of the season, so it's... Well, no, the first game, this is their first game back since spring break. Oh, okay, okay. They, so they've been off for a while. I don't think they, oh, no, I think, did they play one of them? Hey, Marty! Julie Anderson going to set up a dodge from X. He's on an island, but he's going to kick it over the left. Hey, hey! Right there! Marty, Marty! He's going to set up a dodge from the left in the alley. He's going to go to the strong hand right to the middle. Go through a defender, but great check by 58, and TNT is going the other way. They're going to touch it in with Tyler Poulian to get TNT's first truly offense possession of the game. So we'll see what TNT has. TNT has a, a great young offense um, out here tonight. A couple of sophomores, a couple of juniors, and one senior at attack. Fun little offense to watch when they get rolling. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, it's Charlie Stein right. over to Tyler. Tyler's going to step you in. Why? I think Clark that was a piece of quite it, a tough angle there. <laughs> yeah. The shot. Absolutely. But maybe he's playing the sun. A little sun on that spot. So I think he's going to try to get a few on game before the sun goes down. I saw you on that. I just couldn't get it. Ball at X, Seamus Colburn, lefty attack, but in a great check by Charlie Crawford to dislodge it. And Luca Westfall picks it up and he's going the other way. And the ride doesn't get to him. He's going to give it back to the keeper. Great defense start by both teams. And, uh, ooh, just like that. We get a turnover by Minogue and Santini is going to pick it up. Sam Coots in the middle of the field. He's going to clear it by himself. Going to look for some more real estate. He's going to the net. Shot, but right to Clark. Didn't get much on that one. It went right to the stick side. Didn't have it.
have it. Call the timeout, didn't have it. So no one's going to maintain possession of Blaine Nelson. Now Andrew Weigel up at the top. Set up his dodge. So we don't see him dodge from the top left spot a couple times. Right in the top right spot. He can either go right to a strong hand. Shoots. Yeah. See, they get top side every time, but all the shots have been wide, and TJ Smith has been doing a good job covering that, uh, covering that cage so far. TJ Smith, a sophomore goalie for TNT, is going to be his kind of first year start. He started a little bit at the end of the season, but he had an injury. Um, that kind of held it back a little bit. Great uh, dodge There's by shot. And let's just take a quick look at that again. He's going to push in the fast break. Pass the Brody block Ooh. behind the back a little high. Good look from Moore. Buck just a little short finish. But they still have their man up in and out there. It's going to be a six on five for the remainder of 50 seconds. Drop it over to Peterson. Peterson Moore. Moore's going to a little worm burner. Great pass, C.J. Smith, for the second goal of the game. That's going to be two nothing to note with about seven minutes and 30. So after kind of a rocky start from both teams, um, good defense, but rocky on the offensive side. The note has netted two with about seven minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Um, for TNT, you definitely don't want to sell the ball a little bit more, get better possessions, and you don't want the ball in the nose hands for too long. They will put those shots away. So Brady Boyk, that facing off against his counterpart, the LSM. Two hands for and TNT is going to pick it up. With Dylan Flynn going right down the righty alley. He's going to want to push it a little bit over to Tyler. Tyler with a face dodge. And a great shot, but a better save from Ryan Clark. That was the first good opportunity for TNT tonight, and an incredible save by Clark. It was a really good look from Tyler. Um, couldn't get a pass them. And just like that, it's the second turnover for Minot on the clear. Tell the Suns in the, the far side eyes and drop passes and some high passes and some missed some missed balls when they're passing it west to east. No one's gonna get it back. Jacob Dorson is gonna hold on to the ball, get his offensive unit on the field. Dodge right down to the left side. Pass it back to Drew to Buck. Over to Andrew. Nice serve that five goal. Good shot from Andrew. Finding a low and away against CJ Smith. Dodge right down to the left side. Pass it back to Drew to Buck. Over to Andrew. Nice serve that five goal. Exactly the start you want to you know. Let's go a timeout call for TNT to kind of settle things down, talk over the offense, talk over the defense, get people settled into their play. How was New York? It was a, it was it was great. It was a little cold, got a lot of snow, a lot of rain, and 
and then some sunny sky. Got to see the eclipse, but uh, it was a little little cloudy, so it got really dark for about a minute. But other than that, it was a good trip. Yeah, I talked to my son in, in Louisiana. He's like, it poured. We didn't see anything. <laughs> yes. But I, I love going back to New York. We went back for like twice a year to see my son when he was in school, and just I, I love that place. Couldn't live there. Nope. Well, at least not in the city, but I love the city. Nope, I go up north and stuff. It's like around here. Don't, yeah, don't plan on going back anytime soon. But the city there. is fun. <laughs> go there for a week, and that's always enjoy it. Yeah, glad to be back, though, especially when uh, it was 74. I got green onions that we can have. Yeah. Both teams have Both places like Cat's Deli. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Yep. yep. <laughs> you can't beat that. Reuben sandwiches that weigh about four pounds. <laughs> Whistle's blown, and we're going to get the players back out here on the field. We have a little change in the close defense for Minogue. Looks like number 22, Colin McKenzie, will make his debut starting close for Minogue. I believe one of the players, um, Thomas Rossiter, is out with the injury, so Minogue's going to have to fill his spot, which is kind of the leader of that defense on Minogue. So younger players down there. Uh, we have to talk through things and uh, work together. Boyk against Hansford again. LSM for short stick. Boyk has been doing a good job winning it. TNT has been scrappy on the wings though, getting the ball back a few times. Just like that, TNT has a chance for a good pickup by Brody, 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 or Brody Buck, excuse me. Brady, was that the meter goal? Buck's going to set it up at X. Dodge the second one where he lost it. Tries to tow track it and just loses the ball. Julian Anderson is going to pick it up, though. Ooh, looks like he got tripped. The ref saw him, and they're going to push it back. Anderson's still fighting for the ball, though. The ball loose right from the keeper. Kick it out to Moore. A great save by CJ Smith. That ball was coming in hot. Nolan Moore does not shoot it slow. Over to Melson. Nelson's in the middle for Yuli. Nice cut. And CJ oh. Smith with another save right on the doorstep. He is keeping this defense in it right now. Minogue's going to continue to move the ball. They know they have a free play. Moore over to his righty sweep. Back to Anderson. Anderson with the ball. All right, let's see that one again. Was that goal not good? No. Oh. No, it went a little wide. Not that. Been, I could have sworn it was in the way they acted. close. Moore over to Peterson. Peterson's going to set it up, look around. Moore down to Anderson. Up to Moore. Backside to Crawford and a great finish by Charlie Crawford. Now there's a goal. Yeah, great pass for Moore. The defense was just watching Peterson and Anderson. They were sucking out. There's a goal. And that's going to be four nothing minors with four minutes left in the first quarter. So TNT is going to switch up the face off right now. We have Dylan Flynn going to take one here. Brady Boyk is still out there for the other. Brady's going to hit the clamp, picked up by Farrell. Farrell's going to run it down. Tripped. Blake Flag came out. He's going to do the refs called it. And Minogue's going to get another man up opportunity. I, not during a game. I really don't care what you do with him, dude. We're just over. 
great ground ball by Ben Farrell, who's taking it, causing the penalty. Getting his team with another man up on the team. One minute trip for TNC, another penalty that they're going to have to kill. We'll see if they can adjust. Last time it was looking down at Crawford on the pipes. Looks like they're going to stick to the nurse who's having a wonderful run. TNT got a stick on that one a little bit. Oh, tried to set him up. Yep. Hey, go. I think Crawford was in the crease, so it should be a easy ball. Yep. Charlie, go. Everyone get somebody. Hit the hip. So TNT's going to have the ball, but it's going to be a 10 man or a full man ride press for Minot. So they're going to have to make a play to get someone over. Or CJ Smith's going to have to throw it down, which he does. And Gracious misses it. So Peterson is able to get the ball back. So Mino has the ball with probably about 20 seconds or 10 seconds left on the clock. We're going to send it over to Crawford. Crawford off the helmet of one of the players, and that just should be out of bounds. Still man up. Not even too much time left on the field. Here we go. Let's see how this still going. Nelson over to Moore. Moore's going to give it over to Buck. Peterson is going to step in. Oh, nice Moore is going to score. Up. That's a great shot from Moore. If he is wide open, that's going to go. in a hole no, you this big going to first attempt, yeah. especially against Minogue. Yep. These top teams. And yeah, especially with a goalie like Ryan Clark. And yeah. It's not easy to get shots past him. I, did, I wrote it down, but I didn't <laughs> 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 Brandon Williams signed back out there to face off. And Minogue's going to win it. But they called it the other way. So TNC is going to pick it up. So Sam Cooper is going to pick it up for TNC. It's funny, right? You know, we're up about what, 15 feet or so? About, yep. Yep, and every time you move, it just kind of scares you a little yeah. bit. Yeah. That's why Reno used to have a scaffolding like this, a little bit more rickety, and my wife was like, I'm not filming up there. <laughs> this one, uh, a little wiggly, but uh, not as bad as that one, I think. Oh, that one was old and rickety. <laughs> Ball loose. Charlie Stein's gonna pick it up. Look up, look up, look up. But he missed the pass. It's going to retain possession. About 1.15 left in the quarter. Over to Sheamus. So he's gonna set up a dodge here for the left deep alley. Great dodge, but a better check than Luke Westfall. Little can opener just lodged the ball. The note is going the other way. Mini, 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 mini. Now, mini, mini, mini. One on one defense from Luke Westfall, the sophomore. Close defense, but a two time starter. Keeping his man out of it. Julie Anderson sets up a dodge. He's going down under. Past the buck. Buck couldn't finish it a few times tonight. He's up against Stick Low and the ball's falling out. A great check by the TNT defender. Just get that ball to the goalie. The TNT is pushing it the other way. Big 35. Oh, I, I don't know about I, that one. They're going to yeah, say goal. They're saying goal. In. I agree. I thought it went in too. Let's see Trevor it again. Ferguson 
quit the goal for the Oh, I, thought, I don't know about I, that one. They're going to yeah, say, say goal. It was right on the line. I don't know if the ref was the best angle for it, but he called it. He called it. But TNT gets on the board now. They do. Yep. So it's going to be 5 1 with 15 seconds left. So the last thing in the world you want for TNT is a quick goal here. Right? We want to maintain possession and just kill the this quarter to reset the team. So we're going to get a place off that between Boyd and Hansford. And that's probably been the better matchup for TNT. Right? Hansford's able to get some pressure on Boyd. Just like that, Boyd won up a great check to Hansford. That should be a trip. Doesn't call it. Todd. Tosh Spurlunk Lamb with the pickup over to Sheamus. And Sheamus threw it out of bounds, so it should be Minot Ball with 30 seconds left on the clock. Minot needs to go if they want this last possession goal. Clark bombs it down. Two more, and might bounce out of bounds, so he saves it. Great effort from Moore, and he's going right to the cage. Down the buck, the buck's gonna roll dodge in, and a great save by C.J. Smith. One on one for C.J. Smith, that's about his third one on one save tonight. End of the quarter for Minogue, and C.J. Smith's gonna keep him at bay. At the end of one, five to one. Bishop Minogue over Truckee North Tahoe. Offense is looking really good this first quarter. Defense is looking very solid too. Just allowing one goal for TNT. You got to look at players like CJ Smith kind of keeping him in the game. He's had about six or seven saves so far in the first quarter. Otherwise, his score could be pretty ugly. Let me switch something out really quick so don't. You can keep talking. This is this is going to be a uh, young TNT. Oh, there we go. I can hear you now. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there we go. So just an update it from the girls game, Reno Huskies and Oasis Bighorns. At the end of one, it is 8-1. Bighorns over the Huskies. Wow. They're, they've always been a good, let's just say an average team, you know, you know, just up there, you know, they just go middle pack, but they're, they're tough team. They always give everybody fits. And then later tonight, McQueen boys, I believe, are playing Reed. And that game's at 6.30. Up at McQueen? At McQueen, yeah. And I guess they're, they're talking about Nothing set in stone yet, but they're talking about next year just doing a full two weeks off. Because, really? yeah, we had. Yeah, I saw a couple teams play. There's so many forfeits and have teams with half a squad, stuff like that, and it happens every year. I think the league has finally decided just to do two weeks off. Yeah, and you see a lot of it. It's like, did take two weeks off. So yeah. So teams, you know, some teams two weeks off, and some teams playing. Like, you know, two weeks off. So take it off, got plenty of season.
No, at this rate, this game could be over pretty quick. Yeah, that's not what we were expecting. I was expecting a pretty tight game. Oh, yeah. I've seen a few times this season for this team to be special watching against uh, Spanish sports, even against Korea. They start off pretty slow. It's not always, you don't always want to be coming from behind. It's not a great uh, strategy. And great pressure by Hansford. Causes the turnover on Boyd, and that's why they have Hansford out there. Good pressure on the face off. Now, how did they flag down in the backfield? I didn't see it, so I'm just going to get a penalty for my own Hansford. And that's the reason why I think they're going to go on to man up on the turn. Red side, 58, flag. One minute. Slow on the back side for the action. Over to Peterson. Should be a step down for more. Didn't get the angle he wanted to. They're going to push it to the other side. He's able to get around to get his two two defense moving. Neil Anderson has a nice little wrap around. And that's what you're looking for on a wheel. Kind of just one for one wheel rush. Really able to get the back side. The attackman has just been positioned. It's not a great game, but it's a great shot to play back in the past. So did you get a chance to watch any of the Nevada game when you were in I New didn't, York? I didn't get to watch it. They had, they had a good game. They they won over uh, Na Nazarene. Yep, that's a great win for uh, Coach Wright. I think what the one thing that put Nazarene back in was their goalie would come out like Coach Wright would when he yeah, played high school, and, and he got burnt on three goals. Coach DJ got a little taste of his own medicine, you're saying? Yes. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. His goalie would come out to midfield and lose the ball. Oh, okay. And then Nazarene would score on oh. those goals, so they got burnt. No, like, not good. Then. Yeah, they got burnt okay. like three times. <laughs> Only, only so many people could do that, like, yeah. like TJ. Yeah. A couple turnovers to start off this phase. Um, team being team team ball. No, no ball. Excuse me. No ball. Home for three. Six. Clark has it. Williams cross. Clark has had a few turnovers on the field tonight. Um, he's gonna like it, just like what we were Hell talking yeah, about. Yeah, here we go. Yep. I think Clark might want this one. He, might, he was listening. <laughs> could be dangerous. Usually when the goalie comes out, the blood in the water is right there, and every player wants to stick on him. And that group right there. Help him out. Still a ground ball scrum. Nelson loses his head. Off Will. Yeah, yeah, what was that? Will, come on. Oh, his head. Okay. Yeah, yeah. His head fell off. I was like, literally. I'm like, look at. I'm looking at his helmet, going, what nope, happened? His, uh, his actual head is still on his head, which is good. But uh, just this could stick. I think he was swinging away a little bit too much. Lucky he didn't throw it back on the right. Hey, hold on. Still yellow. Up to Thorson. Here we go. Oh, 
Thorson. Thorson for a little after you. Now for the wide one. Nice pass to Cooper Rock. Oh, nice save. Yeah, he got a save. Nice play set. That was a big save for him. I didn't know if it was the first one of the four, but he did know that. Slash <laughs> shots to the head here in the yeah. past 30 seconds. Yeah. They called one of them. Sideline, so if you hear any foul language, well, I apologize, but there's not much I can do. You have to take it up with <laughs> Coach Peacock and uh, Coach Brown. I do not have a delete or delay button. <laughs> but sometimes being on the parent side is just as bad. Yep, so. <laughs> I, I would agree. And actually, it's probably better here in the field. Fair. Hey, that, that's 
Last week, you know, the time I was, not last week, week before I was down in San Diego watching uh, GC play uh, SVU. And after the game, I said, like, Dad, I know that ref from my Sierra Lacrosse. And it was, it was Kurt. Oh, Kurt was there. Yeah, Kurt is down And he was a ref. And, and, and so he goes up to Dom, who used to, who played with yeah. the senior here last year on the nose. And they're like, it is. And they're like, oh, no. Because <laughs> they're like, he's like, they know how we play. <laughs> so, how'd they do? Oh, against against San Diego, they got clobbered. Well, San Diego's like one of the tops. But they played San Diego on Friday, and then on Saturday they played Chapman. And Chapman's up there too, and they just they got demolished. Now last week they played UCLA and just smoked them. And then played USC the next day and beat them too. So those were some good games. Good. And then they finish up against ASU this weekend, and Nevada finishes up against Sonoma. Sonoma's a pretty yeah, legit team. Sonoma, right? They always finish up against Sonoma yep. every year, at least as far as I can. Yeah. As long as I've been doing it. Yeah. I mean, Sonoma's a legit team. I think they're actually even in the top as far as the, their league goes. They're not, you know, top yeah. team. So. Another man up opportunity for the Miners. Second, second, Dexter. Ball right in the sun. Nobody's going to have a chance. Tyson, you got backside. Ryder wants backside. Peterson has a little jump shot off the pipe. Good shot, Eli. Good shot. You're good. Great save by CJ. But, man, popped out, though. So, Minogue's going to get the ball back. One more. Save, save by Smith. Oh, oh, had him set up and couldn't handle the pass. You know, right now is just happy taking shots from downtown and they're just letting them rip. Yeah. And then they're they're kind of catching them off guard because it looks like they'll take three or four attempts from downtown, come back to X and do a quick pop right in front of the goal. Yeah. So I guess uh, state is going to be the weekend of May 18th. We're still the girls is set from what I understand. I don't know exact, yeah. I don't know exact times and stuff. The boys right now are still as I was quoted or was quoted to me, the boys are being squishy as far as um, Vegas 
after we and we know what happened last year. Right, because Vegas decided not to come up to Northern Nevada yeah, last year. Yeah, for some so, reason Vegas just... So Vegas forfeited and that kind of gave Kalina the, 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 the forfeit state championship title. So the only thing I really was pressing for, if anybody was going the Southern League is listening right now is that have the games far enough apart so I can travel from one to the other and stream them both. But yep, <laughs> exactly. Now that that'll be interesting to fight. Um, unfortunately, I think the Southern Southern team will probably win that one. Oh no, they're they're going down there this year. Okay. It 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 bounces back and forth. Yeah. Every year, so okay, okay. it's just a matter of. If you know, because I think last year they're like, oh, it was prom or something like that. Yeah, we didn't yeah. want to, and yeah, the coach was moving, and there was there was all kinds of discussions. Sam Coons off the double, three drops, splitting the double and getting a free space. You know, goes all over. He's a better control than Sam Coons. You can have hold on to it for a little bit. I don't think it's, this penalty is a little bit more. I couldn't see. Either way, GP has the ball. They're still man up. They're pushing it. Now we're gone. Over the buck, buck down to Anderson. Anderson's going to settle it and give it back up to Anderson. Anderson's going to play the ball. No still man up on the time here. Just about 3.30 left in the half. Not able to put a camera on the clock today. It would have been bouncing around up here, so it's kind of pointless. <laughs> yep, absolutely. We'll, we'll give you the updates. The score hasn't changed much, so nine to one. That's what I want to see on there. No one more to dodge. Brady sweep over. Freeze wide open. Nice save. Oh, yeah. yeah. The people almost get the back a little too much. Ball's gonna go wide. To Jay Smith out of the goal. Gets back in. And Anderson picks it up and he's pushing. Got Nelson wide up in the backside. Good skip. Great oh, save by Smith. He's been rock solid down low and in the second quarter. That's just totally different. Can't seem to do with the ball though. Fight for green! Quickly! Fight for green! Go! Go, 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 go! go. Uh, Spurlock Lamb with the ball in the middle of the field. Shot was going fast, but had no no change of plane on it. Went right to the stick on the right side. I don't believe it was a great opportunity. They just missed it. They didn't pass. Peterson's going to clear it all by himself. For the Miners. Skip it to the back side, but of uh, turnovers here in the end of the second quarter and get the ball back to Ferguson wide up in the middle, good pass from Smith. Over to Sheamus, but the pass didn't make it there. Ferguson gave it great to Colin McKenzie. Great pick off. Colin passes up to Farrell. Over to Weigel. Weigel's going to wisely settle down the ball. Midfield's on the field. Dodge to the Ross. Ball loose. He gets it back. Andrew, come get it. Right away, Andrew, right away. Right away. Go, go. Andrew Wiles going to dodge. Right out of the pass to his right. Shot block. Let's go, Brody. So under a minute. Left in the second quarter, Brody Buck is going to have the ball. He's going to dodge, dodge it back to Torsen. Torsen's going to take it himself. Still dodge, back to Buck. Vegas' defense did a great job helping cover the backside. He's 
Turn the mics down and we'll be back in just a little bit. I'm get my sweatshirt on. The temperature's going to drop really fast. We'll be back, everybody. Don't go anywhere. It's going good up here.
and we're back. Letting papers fly all over the place, but we're back. We got coaches down on the Noak side talking to the, not worrying about their players, talking to the TV. <laughs> So we're coming back, it's nine to one here. Bishop and Nogue Miners over Truckee North Tahoe. TNT's got some work to do. They want to stay in this one. Yes, they do. Not much of a change for either team to keep it rolling in front of the Nogue. You got Connor Gallagher in the cage to start the second half. You know, some people might think, oh, Morgan's on goal, but Connor Gallagher's a very good goal himself. But and, and the Miners have had a history of doing that, switching out Absolutely. at the half. They've done it for years. Yes. Jennifer, ben Farrell's going to pick it up. Great opening possession for Minogue. Fake pass. Oh! No. Right over CJ Smith. Uh, upper right corner. Yeah, absolutely. Just that blazed right past him. Was going fast. Yeah, it, 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 you'd have to pick him up going down the field like that. Otherwise, your goalie is going to start doing things because that ball was going fast. That was always funny. Ryan Clark would always ask a few years. The family would, during spring break, they'd go on vacation down to Cabo. He always texts me during the games, in their home games, that he was watching stuff sitting on the beach. <laughs> with the dodge on two. Go past three. High bouncer. That went off a 22's foot or something. And yeah, bounced up. So. Taking, not a goal on Gallagher. He retained it. Coots got popped a little bit too at the end. Okay, starting to get a little chippy down there. Yeah, another penalty. Red side 20. We got a push. It's going to be 30. So push in the back from Sam Coons, 32nd man up opportunity for the Miners. Hey, the starting top right corner with Brody Buck, John Crawford, Colbert Anderson. Push from behind the one for one look. Son Ray and Moore dive. He grabs it. Oliver Peterson back to Moore. Down Anderson. Oh, step in. Oh, oh man. man. Another one on one save. He's a keeper. He was like, bring it on. Yeah, he loves those. You can tell he's getting fired up right now. Another great save from Smith. He has five one on one saves. Doing a great job. And just like that. Penalty for the least. And they're coming yeah, in in the back of six on six across here. Peterson's going to set up in his dodge. Hey, Pass it over to Moore instead. Moore's down the right in the alley. A chance to go for the sweep or cut back for the split. Oh, oh, dodge instead. Nice set. Upper top right top corner. corner. Top right corner for Charlie Crawford. An incredible shot. Great pass from Owen Moore. Got all eyes on him. And Crawford finishes it. Little step down shot from about nine yards out. He's going to be hard to kick no matter who's in the cage. Especially when it's going right where you want it. Yeah. 11 to 1 in the minus with 10 minutes left. Brady Boyk back out there for the face-off. 
your offense like that. I still think you can have the end to be aggressive, but when you go to two or three guys, you don't get the ball as much as you don't play the ball. And you know what? Just like that. Seth Rose is going to get the ball. He's going to the cage. He gets the ball wide and backed up by the keeper. Connor Gallagher with a great run out. Realizing there's no team to put there behind That was a nice shot, though. It was a lower left corner. Yeah, right? Absolutely. And that's, Just up. You kind of have to shoot those at this yeah. point in the game. Right? You don't want to not take that opportunity. You might not get a better one than that. It's just a. Uh, Unfortunate that there was no backup. I think we know number nine, Josiah Gallagher, is going to get called for a little bit of a weird, lowering his head a bit. So he's going to go back to the back to the two feet. Oh, and clobbers him. That's going to be a penalty for Manoa. A little talking between the players. Number nine is going to come. In the box. Number nine, unnecessary. Hey, not both of them. There's a little retaliation of going to go in the other direction. So I think the second man of opportunity will make the first decision. He's not going to have many opportunities. You can definitely get a lot of this one if you see the team. It is the first time I was thinking back at it. Number nine opportunity. As soon as he's out there, Manoa's going to get to the house real quick. He's wide open, so the backside is going to have to help him. A lot of pulls on the outside. As soon as he has to be careful with the sun here. And they're a little spread out. Manoa's doing a great job being aggressive. Now that we have two players. Oh, Sam Cruz with a great shot off the fight. Oh, there's a shot. Seamus Colburn's going to get the ball back that again. off the pipe. And it's going to go. Definitely give him a little motivation. Absolutely. What you should do. flag down. And I think the flag is on the boat. Oh. And those have always been a very physical team. Oh, right. And a great shot from Charlie there. Stein. That was a bouncer right over Gallagher's shoulder. And you can see Connor's right in the direct sunlight. That's probably a great shot to take. You should see it from Gallagher. You know, Coles, you want to get out there and get to someone else to shoot the ball. You don't want that angle. It's a great opportunity for Stein. Two goals in a row for Tilly T. A little bit of a team rhythm. Let's see if they can move around. They should still be in the second quarter. Here's a third quarter. They got plenty of time. I remember a few years ago, Minogue basically brought a linebacker on off the football team and gave him a stick and just used him as a steamroller. He didn't know how to play, but he was out there just making Great pathways. <laughs> like I said, they've always been a physical team. Timeout called by Minogue, I think. At least I heard Coach say it. it didn't work. Okay, so he did call timeout. I don't think the ref heard him. He 
push the attack from back, so it should be easier for him to know if you're team two, you're gonna want to double this right away. Great pressure by Hansford to knock the ball loose. Tyler Cooley is gonna get his hands on the ball for the first time this half. Tyler Cooley goes right to the net. Ooh. Good save by Gallagher. Rebound. Oh, no. He's by himself. Still man down. They should be for another couple seconds here. You know the bad part about having the houses is somebody's barbecuing chicken and it's making me hungry. You can, you can smell it, right? <laughs> Nolan Moore went low and TJ Smith was all over. He's got a okay. team two player down. Nothing on the whistle. Behind the back check. Behind the back check for Sam Coots. Smart of the goalie to hold on to it. Absolutely, yeah. Let's see what happens to the players. Maybe cramp a little bit. Maybe something happens to them. We've, had, we've been having a lot of cramps lately. I think it's just because the weather's getting warmer and they're not. Maybe a little gym hiatus. We had a couple cramps last night during the Damani Reno game and this Paxton, Paxton's a tough player, so he's gonna stand up and walk off. Maybe a little bit of a cold hamstring or quad or something. I don't want that halfway through the season. We'll see this is a tough kid. Especially now after making up all, as per usual, making up all the games missed on the first half from winter. Yeah. You're playing two, three times a week sometimes. Sam Coon single handed three by himself. Over to Cal oh, Bad Pass. Yep, not a great pass. Back to the back to the So pressure ride from TNT. They're going to lose the other wide open. Pressure to the center attack from over. Westall's going to carry. Buck turning the corner in a wide shot. Right. And now he's going to pick it up at X. Braden get it off. Elijah Peterson going to try to get it out of the corner. Elijah's going towards the left. Upper left corner. They like those bounce shots. Yeah, those are hard. Fun. High, high bounces are hard to save. They're hard to save. You think you're going low, you get it right into it. Get something by you. It goes right over your shoulder. That's a great deal. Yeah. He was he was almost piggybacking him for, yeah. for a second. He was Team Hansford with some great defense. He was he, both feet were literally <laughs> off the ground and he was on his back. Yeah, great job by the hand. Get the ball back to the yeah. Yeah. We got one ref called a timeout, one ref called a going back to the field. Five thirty-nine left here in the third. Twelve to three. TNT woke up a little bit, but Minogue just keeps answering. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Minogue did a very good job on the face-off tonight. It's hard to get the ball back. Blake is on the team. 
Tomorrow, we've got Damani and Reed, and that's our only game of the night, so I'll be doing that game live. That's at 6.30, and then Friday, we will have Smash Springs is going to do the girls' varsity against Damani on Friday, and I believe I will be at, no, I'll probably be at Galena. Galena, uh, Galena's playing McQueen, so that will be that will be a quick game. Um, I, I I don't know what McQueen did if they've won a game yet. Last I looked on the on the standings, they haven't. But so it could be yes. McQueen is still sit 0 and 6, but like I said, so tonight they're playing um, they're playing Reed tonight. But Reed's actually two and four, I mean, two and four, but for Reed, I mean, you got, what I'm impressed with this year is like, Reed's been a very young team and every year they get a little bit better. And the other one I'm surprised with is Douglas. I mean, Douglas is looking good. Yeah, and I think, Douglas has a chance to be there too. And then yeah, a little confusing on the field. I couldn't see a deep ball. Coach Brown called a timeout, so they had seen some possession, but I think that the ref was confused to call someone on the back. What Douglas has in their advantage, other than they're getting very but Douglas just has sheer numbers. They've got one of the largest rosters in the league. I mean, their team is huge. Yeah. A lot of young talent. Pinty ball. To get off the timeout here. Here's where you start picking up the coaches going back and forth. So it's always, yeah. especially at Minogue with Peacock, it's always comical. So they're going to press out. As soon as Colburn's going to have the ball, he's going to get behind Colin McKenzie on the defense. Carroll's going to knock it away. Another turnover for TNT. And that, that one hurts. That one hurts off the timeout. Seems to be playing something. And just couldn't get it done. Gallagher's going to have a chance to walk it up. He's going to keep going, but nope. Brody Buck is wide open. Brody has the ball. He's going to settle it down. Here with five minutes left in the third quarter. Another great clear. The miners have been great clears in the second half because they change the game on top two at probably like half time, settle things down, hit the wide open guys. Nelson with the ball being hammered from behind. A couple hard checks. That's all right, that's all right. Watch your top, watch your top, watch your break. Nelson's gonna get back off the wide open. Wyatt's gonna dodge. That was uh, yeah, that was just a hair wide. That was a nice angle on that shot. Let's go, Brody. Brody over to Nelson. Let's go, Nelson's going to take a chance at his dodge. A little pick play, but Nelson's going to go the opposite way. A little turn the corner, left jump hey, shot. Right over the net. Good yeah. little move. He takes another step up the field. He's going to have a better chance. It's a tough angle. I don't think that was more than six inches off. Yeah. I want to uh, change that revenge here. Oh, yeah. There's another pick play with Brody. And Brody's going to be one on one just with Nelson. Nice. Nice. There it is. 
decided not to jump this time, but he had enough space to get it past Smith. Great take from the freshman. Back up to 10, yeah. No, no, okay. no, no, no. I grew up in New York. But you just know everybody here. I, I, I coach all these kids. Yeah. So pretty pretty comfortable with uh, all the Minogue, TNT, Molina, Spanish Springs. I've, I've coached and seen them for a long time. And I'm assuming you're coaching Avalanche again this year? I will be coaching as much as I can. Yep. Coach Wright's going to take over my squad for the most part. Um, I will be intermittent with uh, the child on the way. I wonder if that means that uh, Matthew's going to follow the TJ. I believe Matthew and Cutler are taking the 20. Ah, okay. And so man up opportunity for TNT. It's going to be their third in this quarter. And they're going to use this one. It's insane that they're going to have to put some back in the net. I know Matthew's done with school pretty soon, and he's looking forward to it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I always forget how late college was wraps up, and yeah. he'll be done early May, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Actually, no. Um, April. Wow. We'll be done this month. Wow. A few, couple more weeks. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice when I played in college. Uh, it was kind of cool because uh, our school would end, but we'd still be playing for uh, NCAA and other tournaments, so it's great to, uh, great to see. Oh, he yeah, went in. Yeah, yeah, great take by Rose, and turned the corner, no one was there. Gallagher was a little too far out of the net and uh, scooped the pass. I didn't even see the net move. Across it calms down for me. All I've got is a handful of Nevada Storm games, the women's professional football. Are they underway? Um, the first game's on the 27th of this okay. month. At what, Queen. They're playing at McQueen, right? Yep. And those games, those are fun. Good face off, win by the no. Ben Farrell picked up the ball. Flip, 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 flip. Dance a little bit from behind. Good pressure from Hansford. Ball back to Melson. Little two man game from behind. A big, big. Slip from Buck. Couldn't catch it. TNT's going to pick it up. Roy Turks can get the ball. He's going to put on his wheels. Oh, yard sale. Nice little yard sale. Little windmill check from Nolan Moore is going to drop that loose. Lori had the numbers to protect it a little bit more. They could have had a man opportunity. Throw the ball two minutes left in the quarter. Nolan Moore set up his dodge. Right in sweep. Great to see this. The rock of a shot off, off his chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> heard that one from uh, Damani, I'm pretty sure. That's how loud it was. Rory Turk back with the ball. Splits two. Oh! Yeah, he had a. Truck from Charlie Crawford coming down. They called. I don't know. It's going to be TNT ball, no penalty. Calvin Morning with the ball. Oh, nice. Knocks it down midair. Great interception. Back with the minor to set up their offense. They might want to hold it to the end of the quarter. I doubt it. Probably get some offense going right away. Brody Buck. 
It was at the last minute check by number six Griffin Knees, but it wasn't good enough. Great finish by Jacob Thorson. Just kind of wasn't wasn't a lot of power, just enough to get it, you know. Yep. It's on you sometimes. Brandon Knees don't need to shoot as fast as he can as long as it goes in. Low perception on the goalie. So you know, Gabby keeping that 10 point lead. They're matching TNT right now. Point to point. Versus Aya Talakan. First time we're seeing these two face off against each other tonight. to the pass in the middle, Billy Buck caught it. Just a couple of steps too late. Yeah, he caught it, it was a great catch, didn't have the angle. Keen was on it, was right on his back and pushed him out. Anderson's gonna take it right away, pass the Buck Ooh. on the crease. Easy finish. Easy finish, that, those are three attacks, and Anderson, Buck, and Nelson were really good. If one's dodging, sometimes one team can cut down. Forty-two seconds left here in the third. Three boys seem to be back out there facing off for the Miners. Very effective tonight. You know, great job clamping the ball and getting it out. And sometimes Phoenix does a great job on the difficult scrum. Ben Farrell. Take it through a couple guys, passes it back to Luca Westfall. Rose is going to have it for a second. He couldn't gather it. That's going to be failure to advance. Oh, the miners. So, Jim Key going to have 12 seconds to work with on the half. 12 seconds left in the quarter to try to get one. And they got the number. You know, just kind of like Molly Gag and you're at the box. Your TNT has got to go quick and fast. Let's go, Rory! I don't know what the, I don't think they know that the, there's no time left on the clock. Close one though, Seamus almost got it off. Got checked last second. And that's when he had his reserve. I don't think anyone really knew what was going on. No, it didn't look like they were paying attention too much. So we're heading into the fourth, 15 to four. So what, what are you looking at towards the end of the season? Because right now, we've got Galena, Minogue, and Spanish Springs all neck and neck. Yeah. And, and Galena, Grant's still in first place, kind of like they have been every season, but they're, they're not the powerhouse that they, that they have been the past couple of years. It's tighter this year, for sure. Yes. Now, obviously, so far. Um, Span Spring game last night could have gone either way. Definitely. Uh, both teams had opportunities late in the game to finish the game. We was able to capitalize with 20 seconds left. However, if Spanish Springs, you know, holds on to the ball a little bit, they would be, they would have that game. That would be Spanish Springs ball, and then it would be kind of like this 1-1 one, one run here, three ways high between the top three teams. Um, so all Spanish Springs, Galena, and Minogue have one more chance to play each other. Yes. And that's going to that's gonna be the big tell. Minogue versus Galena, the first game of the season, Galena won. Galena won 10 to 6. It was kind of a close game in the first half. Galena yeah. walked away with the end. But I think Minogue's got a lot, lot better since that first game. Yes. They went down to Vegas, they played some good competition, and then they went up to Spanish Springs. They beat Spanish Springs pretty handily, about five or six goals. So I think it's going to be a, a very interesting stretch that we're going to see. And I think it's going to come down to a lot, a lot of coaching and a lot of players being in the right system at the right time. I think it's going to be very exciting. <laughs> and I think that, and I think that first game between Galena and Minogue was 
I don't know, it, the weather was terrible. It was cold. It was cold, <laughs> and yeah, it was not fun. No. And so I think that had some play with, but, but yeah, I mean, I was kind of surprised with that one because I, that was the first day, that was the first game with Galena, you know, and they've been new coaches and everything like that, and they came out and said, hey, we haven't changed. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah, and this is not enough to not play that first game. Oh, no, they've gotten a lot better. Their offense is very good. Their defense is solid. And uh, I think it was just a great finish to the season for the next couple of weeks of watching this team get battled out. And, and Minogue always has been kind of a second-half team. And they always just seem to come on stronger and stronger as the, as the, the season goes on. Absolutely, yeah. Minogue was, you know, 20 seconds away from winning. Uh-oh. Break it up. Break it up. No. Oh, I thought he, the way he went down, I thought he hurt his knee or something, because he just kind of, like, good, I'm glad he's all right. Yeah, so I was saying, it was a flash in the nose, had a one good game with Arena, um, that could have changed the whole season around, and I think they're, they're itching, and I think they're, they're going to do their best to take it, they got a, yeah. they got a game coming up, I, I do agree with that, I think the, the difference between the top two is just not the same as the back and and playoffs are going to be awesome. Oh, and especially a coach uh, Tatro with the Spanish Springs. He, he likes to keep his cards close to his chest. Oh no, he especially he going to playoffs show. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And he has some tricks up his sleeve. Yes. Yeah, and that that's going to be fun to watch you know, what these coaches are going to do because you have two incredible coaches right from that last time in the uh, sideline that also is going to have some tricks up their sleeve for the win with Spanish Springs time for because we know has been left out of that championship game when he comes down. Yeah. And you know they want that. And, and good thing is, I mean, Spanish Springs has that because the one thing I was curious about this season was their their main face-off kid, Tatro's son, who yep. is just an absolute stud, he just keeps getting hurt. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. They've done a great job filling in for him. But yes, saw Even last night with Galena, I mean, J.J. Shank, is, he kind of he took over that game in the second half right there. Um, so having that uh, definitely hurts. And then, I mean, so, I mean, because, like, last year was always fun. Oh! He wound up a little too much before he got that ball. <laughs> but, like, last year, I mean, you had, had Patro's son, and, and then for the you had Hunter Me, and when they were facing off, that was always fun. Where's my two? Mike, two! Nice two sometimes. Yeah, we yeah, I'm, I'm looking really forward to it. Todd, and even on the girls' side, I mean, we had a one-goal game between Galena and TNT last night. Um, so I'm, I'm still looking at Galena girls, uh, TNT, and Minogue playing for that championship game, too. So I think on the girls' side, you might see the exact same thing. But you will be, you will be told, because I've been told this before, is, and my wife told me, too, is that they had, Galena had a lot of second string in last night. So we'll see, but but um, is escaping me number eleven for Galena. She's the main one now. Um, 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 shoot, she was still in. Either way, Todd, we're yeah. lucky. We're two lucky uh, individuals watching these games. I think we're gonna have some great, great games yep. in the next couple weeks. Back and forth between uh, the Miners and TNT. Miners going to take hold of this one. You get to clear it over to Peterson. Peterson's going to dive right away. Look to the middle. Oh, he behind, the back. behind the back. Behind the back. One, he was getting hit. He got crushed right when he got the.
Some parents from other teams and they're talking about this new field and they're like, we hear it's heated. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I wish. So like Minogue likes to have, you know, nice fields, but they're not gonna go that far. You're not gonna have a heated lacrosse field before you have a heated football field at least. <laughs> If they had that kind of money, you'd be better off if they just domed it. So we got a final. It is Oasis 13, Reno 7. Place. Still make the playoffs, yeah, and shot. anything can happen. yelling at the midfield line to get off the field. Roll too much action for you folks. 
Five and a half minutes left in this matchup. They tried to do a little warm burner. Didn't get through a few times. He's got a few four shots tonight that have gone off in a few defenders. Jerk's got a chance to pick it up necessary. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. with the ball. Ooh, a tough pass of no good there. So Jerk can get uh, killed there, but gets it out. Peterson to pass it down. Nelson, great finish on the first half to get a snap. Works in Myers' favor, keeping it sloppy. A little all over the place with some of the good defense and JV players. Let's see, 17 4 with four minutes left in the game. You can run the clock to come to play. <laughs> Taylor Khan back on the chase off. That's the end Raider. Aggressive matchup between those two last time. Let's see if they keep that going. Raider wins the slam. Definitely gonna work on that. Uh, oh, what's going on? Keeping the referees. Kids are trying to call the games here. <laughs> Great push out by Seamus Goldburn. Let's go, Toss. Hey, with the ball. Bad pass to Seamus. Collins gonna tip it. So it's going to stay with me and me, but great pressure by Colin McKenzie. Who normally plays LSM. He's, he's filling in for uh, Thomas Ross here tonight. He's playing a little bit of close defense. Doing a good job. Peterson's going to switch over to Sheamus. Ball up. Dylan Flynn. Dylan Flynn with a little roll. Look to the middle. Rosen tried to go behind the back. He didn't realize the defender was right there. He finished his normal hand. That would have been an easy goal. Luca Westfall carried up the field. Got flashed right in the chest. But he's going to keep going. No play. Yeah, at this point, he's probably just letting it go. No, yeah. I would imagine unless something egregious happens. Exactly. As soon as the ref is going to line this up. Nelson with the dodge. Good to see Luke LeBlanc back out there. Took a big hit in the first half. Peterson dodged to the left. Left the bouncer for a little while. Ball back to Nelson. Ball to Peterson. Over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc is shifty. You gotta be careful with him dodging. He's gonna go. Back to Nelson. Great defense by number 10. Just lodge that ball and push Nelson right away. No call, loose ball. Picked up by CJ Smith. TNT has the ball back with one minute and 22 seconds left in the game. Feel like Lamb's gonna get double teamed right in the middle of the field, and that's the, kind of the story of the night. How many times have we seen that tonight? Yeah. It's been just a single TNT player and at least two to three to no players all over and cause turnovers. Nifty move, going to his left, rolling back right, just sting in the top left corner. Got a little 
Yeah, they did. Great sounding goal. That should pretty much do it here. 40 seconds left, running clock. We have final face off. is going to do it. Your final score here is going to be Bishop Minogue 18, Truckee North Tahoe 4. So that's going to do it for us. Yeah. Todd Miller and Patrick Liddy. Take care. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. See you it's soon. Been a while. Absolutely. Like I said, most likely tomorrow night we'll be live again from Damani. So I will post that on Instagram and Facebook with the links and stuff. But if you haven't subscribed to YouTube, do so. And then that way you don't have to worry about those links. It'll just let you know. So hit that button. Have a good night, everybody. We will see you next time.